We made it. The culmination of our tour, it's done. Six months on the road, Western Australia, during COVID, during the pandemic. Strap yourselves in, I hope you enjoy it. We really appreciate it. Give this guy a massive, massive round of applause for everything he's done. Please get it up. So my real name is Jeremy, my stage name is Jimmy Caretz, and I'm 45 years old. I grew up in Iowa and Illinois in small towns around there initially and then lived in the suburbs of Chicago for eight years, which I hated because too much traffic, too much trouble, too many damn people. I think a big part of me being an outgoing person uh, and being an extrovert is that I'm also a chiropractor and I've been doing that for 22 years. Right? So you're dealing with people all the time from all sorts of different walks of life. So you need to learn to be able to have a conversation with them. And then, you know, while you're working on them, you're trying to distract them so they relax. And, uh, you know, so you're just telling stories and stuff. When I was growing up, probably by the time I was about six years old, I knew I was a hillbilly. Because my mom was in the kitchen cooking dinner. She said to me, boy, can you find me some oil? I said, yes, ma'am, you just tell me which country we got to invade. <laughs> well, basically, Jimmy got ostracized from our local scene for doing too hard of a material, I guess, edgy material. Uh, I eventually saw Jimmy at a raw contest final, and he came up to me and said that he was going to start doing open mic rooms and some other things, and he'd want me to come along and, and start doing comedy with him. We're, we're very different comedians, but I just respect people that are trying to do on the edge comedy because comedy is about talking about uh, difficult issues and I don't like vanilla comedy. So the, the people I listen to are like Bill Hicks and George Carlin and Dave Chappelle and people who are pushing the edge. I was overly like myself, right? And I would also, I tried to weed people out because you got to find out who are the people you can't trust? So I put these real truths out there. And a lot of people went, oh, I'm not gonna deal with that guy. But people like Tim, who are stable and confident in themselves, went, no, I like that philosophy. That makes sense to me. There are some people in the scene who don't like this guy, but I'm gonna see through that because clearly he's on a mission, right? And so Tim actually more came to me going, yeah, basically I don't think you're a dickhead. Let's work together. Here's another one people don't realize now. These days, you can't call them special needs no more. <laughs>